you're interested in shopping online consignment stores or online resale stores, stay tuned. We're going to talk about strategies for successfully shopping online consignment stores in today's video. Hey, this is Netta. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my whole goal for this channel is to help you look and feel beautiful and confident every single day by building a wardrobe and a style that you love. Because it's Tuesday, it's Ageless Style Show Day, and I cover a couple of segments in today's video, and I'm going to get right into them. So first thing I want to do is my buzzworthy pick. I'm so excited about this one because it's from a brand called Clove and Hello, and they sent me this beautiful presentation box. I can't wait to share it with you guys. First of all, let me tell you about Clove and Hello. Um, it's designed in the USA. It's, a, it's a, an American company and their whole philosophy is to do no harm. So their products are sustainable and ethical and affordable, which is amazing. Um, it was developed by a makeup artist, Sarah Biggers Stewart. And look at this packaging. Now the post office unfortunately dented my box a little, but none of the goodies inside were harmed. Um, no makeup was harmed in, in the making of this video. Um, so I just love their approach. One of the things I'm really, really excited to try, and I have not tried any of these yet because I've been waiting to show them to you guys. I will be doing a review in a future video, but this is the Everything Oil. It's a, an antioxidant facial oil. Look at that cool packaging. Um, there is a serum. There is um, a concealer. There's a lipstick. There's a setting spray. Um, I think their packaging is just beautiful. Um, it's so simple and so minimalist and so sleek. So I'm, I'm obsessed with good packaging. So that is so cool. Um, I also am excited, and my daughter's especially excited. I have to watch that she doesn't steal my lip polish. So this is to you know exfoliate your lips and plump them up a little bit. And um, this is a collagen boosting lip treatment, which I could definitely use because um, I have always wanted full plump lips, and I do not have full plump lips. And so this is, and it's peppermint flavored. So collagen boosting lip treatment and lip polish, um, some makeup, some skincare, all in this beautiful presentation box. Very, very excited to try it. Can't wait to let you guys know um, what I think of it, but definitely look in the description box below. I'll have uh, the link to Clove and Hallow so you can check it out for yourself. Again, sustainable, ethical, affordable, like that's what we're all looking for in our products. So excited and thank you Clove and Hallow for sending me the products. Can't wait to try them. Okay. The next segment I'm going to share is the question of the week. The question of the week is really going to lead into today's topic. And it's from a longtime member of mine, Catherine Elizabeth, who asks um, how to shop online consignment stores. That is the whole focus of today's video. And I'm excited to answer that question as the topic of today's video because it's something I've been wanting to tackle for a while. I've done a thread up video, which I will link below. It's specifically about my experience shopping thread up, but this is online shopping, online consignment shopping in general. So my makeover today also ties into online shopping and it's not really a makeover as much as it's a high and low look from a consignment store. So as you can see, the look on the left and the look on the right are very similar. Um, they both have striped, um, beautiful striped sweaters, uh, relaxed fit, slouchy jeans, and silver shoes, silver flats, silver loafers. A very current and contemporary, but still classic and easy to wear look for fall and winter. And I kind of wanted to show it at two different price points. So the first outfit, the outfit on the left is from ThreadUp. Features a cashmere sweater for $25. $25 for that striped cashmere sweater, which I think is an amazing deal. 100% cashmere striped sweater for $25. Then the pair of slouchy boyfriend jeans are $35. And the shoes, which are from Bowdoin, one of my favorite sources for shoes, are also $35. So, or $36. So the whole look is about $90, $95. You can definitely have found even less expensive versions of these, but these were my favorite picks for a budget-friendly look, under $100 for the entire outfit. So let's look at the look on the right. The look on the right is a higher-end look. Again, there are medium, lower, higher, you know, these are just 
example items that I pulled. Um, so this sweater is from one of my favorite brands, La Ligne, L-I-G-N-E, it's the French word for the line. So they're all about stripes. Um, and this sweater is $250. Um, the jeans are $198 for those boyfriend jeans. And then the shoes are from, I guess, Ali McGraw. I did not realize this until I was on Nordstrom recently. Ali McGraw has a shoe company and these loafers are from Ally McGraw's brand and they're $145 so the whole look is about $600 so just you know to give you an idea of what you can get for under $100 on consignment store and what you can get for $600 at a place like Nordstrom again does Nordstrom have less expensive versions of these is there anything less than a $250 sweater at Nordstrom of course but I wanted to give you just kind of what my picks would be in these categories and kind of how the price would compare um, and just kind of a fun hopefully a fun illustration so consignment stores really enable you to get items into your wardrobe bring items into your wardrobe with higher quality and maybe brands that you would not necessarily be able to afford um, regular at regular full price you know maybe a brand that's an aspirational brand for you a brand you've always been wanting to try but just haven't wanted to invest in and it's so good for the environment and for you know just the world in general there are way too many clothes out there and uh, if we can buy resale and consignment stores we are um, reusing something that's already made rather than buying Buying something that's new that was just made or having something made for us so you know it's, it's it is definitely a sustainability and an environmental um, concern how many clothes are are out in the world and even in consignment stores and places like thread up that have a bajillion items um, you not we know that not all of those items are going to get sold and reworn so anytime we can buy online consignment or consignment in general or resale you know buy items that are secondhand we're going to be alleviating a little bit of that problem and doing our part a little bit for that so I'm excited to share my strategies for online consignment in today's video okay the first tip I have is that you kind of need to know what you're looking for so that you know where to shop so knowing where to shop um, which online consignment store to hit is my first tip so let me go over some of the more popular ones and kind of their features and benefits and why you might want to shop one over the other okay the first is thread up thread up is huge huge it is the largest online consignment store in the world um, it's also really affordable and from all of these stores and in this whole video I'm going to be focusing on shopping at, um, online consignment not selling consignment stuff because there is that's a, a totally different topic for a totally different video so if you want a video on how to sell your items um, I can I can do a different video on that but this is if you're looking at the shopping experience on thread up the prices are very very affordable uh, for the most part um, huge selection can be overwhelming you definitely need to use your filters on thread up so that you can you can bring the items down to uh, a manageable size of a manageable number of things to look for so thread up is just huge very very well priced maybe not as elegantly presented as some of the other ones I'm going to talk about tradesy tradesy is great for high-end bags and accessories specifically although you can find items there their their whole tagline is you can find items from Zara to Chanel um, it has everything is in really you know is authenticated and you know that you're getting what you're paying for when you buy something on on a site like Tradesy. they have their authenticators they have guarantees and things like that the real real feels like a high-end boutique when you look at the real real you might as well be shopping a net a porter or another high-end um, online my Teresa or something like that because it's presented in a really high-end way one of the cool things about the real real is they do have brick and mortar shops and um, when I was in Chicago over the summer I saw a real real shop it was so exciting um, again it feels like a high-end boutique and it is high end exclusively so the real real you're not going to find um nordstrom like me more medium priced brands you're going to find exclusively high-end designer items um they're authenticated items and everything is in pretty much pristine and perfect condition okay vestier collective vestier collective is a large global 
a reseller or retailer of so basically what you're doing with vestiaire collective is it's high-end luxury and designer items so you can find nike as well as gucci but you're buying from um people all over the world um it's the, the stuff is authenticated by vestiaire collective but it's shipped to you and you're buying directly from um, a reseller unlike with thread up and with um the real real where it's being shipped from their warehouses vestiaire collective you're buying from another person and again they it, the stuff is authenticated there's a social media component in vestiaire collective you can follow people and kind of get um you know engaged with people that way if that's something you're interested in so poshmark um Poshmark is you, like Vestier Collective, you're buying from individual sellers. It, it runs the gamut of, you know, items from $5 to, you know, $5,000, $10,000. Like it, it really runs the gamut. You're, again, you're, it's, it's kind of like eBay, but exclusively clothes, shoes, accessories. Um, luxury purchases over $500 on Poshmark are sent to po Poshmark. It's called Posh Authenticate. And they authenticate the item and then they do ship that item from Posh. You get that item from Poshmark if you're buying something over $500 because they want to make sure that you're not buying something that's a counterfeit item. Um, so it's shipped directly to you. They also have things like Posh Parties where they're like a, a preppy style party or a um, summer fun party or whatever. And so they kind of will curate items based on a specific category so that you can shop them that way. Um, you can also follow different social uh, poshers. Uh, that's what they call, you know, if you've got a, a Poshmark account, you're a posher. Um, so the sellers are called poshers. You can follow different poshers, like following different boutiques, essentially. And there is a whole social media component. You can engage, you can share other people's listings, et cetera, et cetera. So all of these um, retailers have apps that you can use. So I have the thread up, the Poshmark, the real real i have those apps on my phone because i use them frequently but i recently just learned that trade z also has an app when i was researching this video i was not aware of that and vestiaire collective also has an app so they all have apps makes it all too easy if you've got a little a few minutes to kill waiting for um a, you know a doctor's appointment or picking up a kid you can go on the app and do a little bit of quick shopping that way um okay so my second tip is to know your prices after you know your stores and what the stores are known for it's important that you know your prices so if you are shopping a favorite brand, like you're shopping The Gap or you're shopping Talbots and you're shopping that brand online, you wanna know what you would typically expect to pay for a sweater from The Gap or shoes from Talbots before you um, buy the items on ThreadUp so for, or, or Poshmark or any of these places. So for example, um, I have seen uh, you know, an H&M sweater on ThreadUp for $25. I'm like, well, I've bought H&M sweaters for $25 at the store. So you want to ask yourself, do I really want that sweater or am I? do I think I'm really getting a good deal? You want to know how good of a deal you're really getting. And yes, it's always a good idea, again, to buy resale and consignment. It's just great for so many reasons. But you want to make sure that you're getting the best price for the item that, you know, if, if you're compromising on maybe newness or current, you know, something that's not as current, then you want to at least make sure that you're getting a really good deal right so knowing what the item was priced at originally can help you determine whether you're getting as good a deal as you think you are right okay second is to or third sorry is to know what you're looking for so you cannot go into these sites unprepared you can't be like oh let me see what thread up has in the store today you know 74 hours later you're in a black hole and you've got 74 items in your cart and you abandon the cart right like you can't you can't do that you need to know specifically what you're looking for you need to go into the plan and you need to you know filter as 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 best as you can so that you can get that number down to a manageable size so um know what you're looking for um filter by as many categories as you possibly can and you can get you know 50,000 items down to 50 items or 100 items or 200 items and then you can actually sift through those items and decide what it is you want but if you go in and say i'm looking for a sweater 
<laughs> you know, you're going to find thousands and thousands of sweaters, especially on Poshmark or ThreadUp where they have such an extensive selection. It's a little bit less of a problem on the higher end sites because they don't have as huge an assortment, but still you want to filter to the best of your ability. Okay. Um, once you filter, you want to favor it. Most of these stores offer ways to to favorite items so you can you can click the little heart and it can save those items all together for you so you can go back and look at your favorites and comparison shop that way and decide okay say you're looking for a red dress if you favorite a bunch of red dresses then you can go to your favorite section see them all in one place and decide what you want from there okay the next thing is to authenticate make sure that you know, you're comfortable with the authentication process if you're buying a higher end item from a place like The Real Real or Vestier Collective or TradeZ. I think that there are authentication systems from everything that I've experienced and I've been working with those, especially The Real Real. I've worked pretty closely with The Real Real for years and I've done Real Real parties in my house where friends bring, you know, their higher end items and um, they're bought kind of outright by The Real Real. So, um, some items they will buy outright, some they will consign, but you want, you want to feel really comfortable with the authentication. So if you're spending a lot of money on something and you want an additional level of, of comfort knowing that your item is really authentic, there is um, a site called Authenticate First and there are other authentic authentication services. Authentic. Uh, Oh my goodness. So that you can authenticate and you can you can pay a little extra $15, $20 for them to authenticate an item for you. So that's just an extra level of protection and peace of mind if you're spending a lot of money on something. Like if you're buying a Chanel bag or you're buying an Hermes bag, I would definitely suggest going to authenticate first. Another uh, service I would suggest checking out is Affirm. Affirm basically lets you buy higher end items and break up the, per, uh, the the purchase price into like three or I think it's it's typically three payments. So if you're buying a Chanel bag or you're buying a, a really nice watch, you're buying something high end, you can use a service like Affirm. If you go onto the websites, the, the majority of these retailers will have Affirm um, an, as an option when you're checking out, when you're buying so that you can, you can break the payments up a little bit and make it a little bit more manageable. Um, next, check the return policy. I recently had an experience with a client who kind of spontaneously bought a couple of watches on, um, on TradeZ and she realized, actually she bought a bag on TradeZ and she realized that she could only return it for store credit and not for a refund. So we ended up with an almost $2,000 store credit on TradeZ that fortunately she has used to buy the watch of her dreams, but you want to know what the return policies are before you go into it. Um, sites like The Real Real usually have a 21 day return policy. I think ThreadUp usually has 14 days, but places like Poshmark and um, you know where you're buying directly from the person, it's, it's, it's pr you probably only have a couple of days. Once the item arrives to check it out to make sure it is what you what you thought it was to make sure everything looks good um, before contacting Poshmark and letting them know that there's a problem. So check the return policy, make sure that you're comfortable with that return policy for the price. And sometimes it's it's worth it to just buy a couple of trial items from a site and, and, and get comfortable with the process before you commit more money. So if you're buying something on Poshmark for $20 and it doesn't work out, it's not the end of the world. But if you're buying something for $200 and it doesn't work out, you're going to feel a little a little worse about it, right? Okay, um, use the tools that they offer you. There are so many great tools that these retailers offer and they can make your life easier. So I already talked about the favorites tool. I already talked about the fact that they all have apps, which makes it really, really you know, easy to shop when you're away from your computer. Um, but they all ha let you save sizes. They let you save searches. Um, I always filter ThreadUp has my sizes saved. Um, and you know, all of the re at all of these sites, I have my sizes saved so I can click my sizes and it will filter by my sizes. So you don't have to enter in all of that information every single all time. So definitely use the, the tools that they have. Poshmark has um, the ability for you to make an offer 
Um, you can also, the reseller might also, or the person who's the posher can also make an offer to you and you can accept it or decline it. Usually you have 24 hours to do that. Um, you can also bundle items together from a specific seller so that they can be shipped together and you can save money that way. And of course, you know, you can like and favorite your items so you can kind of see them all in one place. Um, ThreadUp has goodie boxes, which I reviewed in my ThreadUp video, and they have expanded their selection of goodie boxes. You can do a back to school box. You can do a, um, a high end box. You can do a boxes with a variety of themes, and you can also custom create your own goodie box. There are a couple of um, uh, restrictions to custom creating a goodie box. The item can't be more than $100 and it has to be from your home warehouse, but it can still allow you to risk-free try several of your favorite thread up items, uh, you know, in a favorites box um, at one time at home and send back the items that you don't like. So it's kind of like creating your own subscription box, which is really cool, but without the subscription. So ThreadUp has that. ThreadUp also has rescue boxes where you can get items that have either been on the site for a while or maybe are not in, in their typical condition. If you are really creative, you're a DIYer, you like to sew, um, fix things up. I even saw a rescue box full of coach purses. I was like, that is a cool idea. And rescue boxes are also really affordable. So um, it's just a way to, to, to rescue items that might have otherwise gone to a landfill or I don't know, a dump or something. Okay. Um, TradeZ lets you favorite and save searches as well. Vestiaire Collective, you can search by country. You can search just in the US, you can search in Australia, you can search in the UK, wherever you're at. They also have um, a section for brand approved items. So they'll, you know, like maybe Chanel will approve this section of Chanel bags and you know that they're, that they're, they got the thumbs up from the brand. So you know that they're authentic, you know that they're great quality, you know that what you're, you're getting what you're paying for with that. So I love the brand approved items at Vestiaire. They also have express shipping on some items, which is great because sometimes some of these services can take a little bit longer. And if you're shopping for a special event, you're going to want to use maybe express shipping. The Real Real, I love their, um, curated by section which they basically pick from you know brands that they love they pick items that are new that that are offered in that curated by so they've got home and gift and fashion and, and different areas in that curated by which is i mean it's, it's a great way to kind of discover new brands that are kind of under the radar a little bit um i also like their editors picks um they, they pick some of the best items from the store and put them in one place so that you can kind of check them out easily so definitely check out the editors picks um and then again, like I mentioned, uh, they have in-person stores. So I love that you can walk into a real reel and kind of see high-end consignment face-to-face. -face. That is Sophie. Oh, Sophie, apparently having a bad dream. My doggy is sleeping right near my feet and having a little doggy, doggy nightmare. Sophie, it's okay, baby. It's okay. <laughs> um, so I hope that these online consignment store tips have helped you and maybe helped you get over your fear if you've been hesitant to try some of these online shopping stores, um, online consignment stores. I hope this helped you um, consider diving in and trying it. Start small, buy something small, um, see how you feel about the process. Once you gain confidence, um, I think you'll be able to shop online consignment more um, confidently, again, more successfully. Find what you're looking for, um, help the environment and your wallet in the process. Let me know what you thought of this video. I know I kind of uh, uh, flew through these tips, but they are all going to be outlined in a little bit more detail in my blog post, which is linked below the video. Everything that I mentioned today, the sites um, and the blog post and Clove and Hallow are all going to be linked in the description box below this video. Thanks as always for staying tuned into my videos. Love connecting with you guys. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. The description um, box again has all the information. Hit the, um, the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. Join us, we have the best time here. The notification bell lets you know when I upload new videos every Tuesday, every Friday, and I'll see you in the next video.